Let me show you the accessories that come with the MIT unit. Most of these clear plastic targets come with a protective coating. You're going to want to peel that off, otherwise you're going to get this filmy blue look to it. When peeled off, it looks like this instead of like this. This is the target that we use the most. It's a beginning one. You can isolate on the center target and then use the bigger apertures, as I mentioned before, to control how many black dots are seen. Once they get really good at that, we would progress to a target like so and that target I get it forward for you you would again go from the F to each dot to the Z down and back and forth and moving all around the the goal is to each time they move their eye to be picking up the next dot or letter with the fovea and having that propeller spin exactly around those we even include a visual acuity chart because as you know the closer to the fovea they get the better their visual acuity so we might start out with the bigger letters and then work on this row and further and further down would not be unusual for an amblyope with extension fixation to not be able to read these letters at the bottom at the start of therapy but by the end of therapy hopefully we'll be even seeing those tiny letters there. One of the other slides that comes with it has to do with marking the fovea again and creating an after image. This target notice has a clear area around the cobalt blue so that when you're using it you'll actually create an after image where these clear panels are and then you'll You'll see this blue eccentric fixation area and then a center dot there. After they stare at this a while and they look away, they can actually see where the fovea is compared to the after image. That's the purpose of this slide. And of course it comes with red pointers and then two other accessories here. The original MIT often needed to double up and use a lot more cobalt blue to get the after image. If you cannot get a good Haydinger brush with the setup I showed you earlier, you can try putting the goggles on. The other nice part about the goggle of course is it blocks the good eye and only lets the amblyopic or eccentric fixating eye look. So you can use those. Another trick um, to get the patient to see the brush sometimes is to change the lighting in the room. The dimmer the light in the room, the easier it is to see. Sometimes you'll even flash the light to get them to see it better. Another interesting phenomenon is when we use a very thin piece of cellophane plastic, it reverses the direction of the propeller. So if you've got this set, the knob turned in the clockwise position, the rotator is turning clockwise, the brush will be turning clockwise. You put this in front of the patient and the um, propeller will change direct. So it's just another way of checking their responses to make sure they're giving you accurate responses. This is a difficult technique. This is one that takes a while to learn the technique. It takes a while to make sure that you understand what the patient's telling you. But it is the only way to improve vision on an eye that has eccentric fixation. Of course, you always want to check an eye for eccentric fixation that is amblyopic. Check the eye for the uh, fix normal fixation before you you start to patch. If you patch an eye that is eccentrically fixating before you've corrected this problem, you're just making the problem worse. You're deepening how hard that uh, eccentric fixation point is fixed there. So always check before doing any work with an amblyope to make sure they have normal fixation. Thank you.